Hey, orange one here. So in this episode, I'm going to do one of the more endgame things. I'm going to try and kill a clone of Sad Emus, the Sky Bear. Um, this is something that... He's a really tough enemy. Even right now, he's very tough, even at our current level of 25. Like, he's, he's going to be a challenge. Um... But I think we can do it, you know. My plan basically is to blow up the cage here, which should release him. And then um, as he comes running towards us, we'll try and uh, suppress him and keep our distance. And there's a couple things that are gonna make, is gonna make this possible. One is I found an Angen rifle, which I scoped. Uh, I literally just found that like a little bit ago. I wasn't recording. I was just going through the magma mines. And this antimatter cell right here, that was actually in that engraved, um, engraved uh, laser rifle. If you remember when I got that in that previous episode, there was this engraved laser rifle, and it had said like small trinket or something like that. That was actually an antimatter cell. So we have an antimatter cell, so I guess we're not going to need to use stuff very much. Um, so what I wanted to do is let's see I could throw a grenade or I could place one down as a bomb I think what we want to do is high explosive I don't know if we need yeah let's do a mark 3 explosive mark 3 sure uh, maybe we need to be further though okay for tinker and we could do an acid grenade, that might work. Okay, it wants us further away. Yep, high explosive. And let's see where our grenades. Actually, I'm not. Oh, actually, sorry, give me a second. Check this out. This Agon rifle actually shoots through him. I don't know if you saw that, but behind him. Um, we were able to see a, the round kind of come out the other side. Um, so, and you can see how much faster his health is going down. And we are penetrating almost every time. So that was so much quicker than what we were doing beforehand. Okay, so if I go here... I know I haven't really played around with this very much. I'm right there. Yeah, it looks like actually... Um, if I look here... Just kind of unlock, there's Cryogenic Mist. But this is actually open right there, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to, if I do Abilities... Set Bomb. Uh, let's go ahead and set a bomb. Do the high explosive right there. Uh, let's do 10 rounds just so we get nice and comfortable. Uh, and I'm just going to wait. There we go. He exploded. And are we hitting? I think we're hitting the wall there. There we go. Hit him for some damage, keeping him suppressed. As you can see, we're not very accurate with this Angen rifle, so we're going to need to get a little bit closer. There we go. 35? How is he... It says he's perfect. I don't understand. If I look at him... Is it because he's frozen? I feel like it's because he's frozen. Is he starting to... Yeah, there we go. He's starting to get a little bit, a bit damaged. Is he still frozen, though? No, he's not frozen. He's hurt, though. And look, he's he's injured. 
And he's starting to move. I don't see him. There he is. Trying to sneak. Let's keep you suppressed. Yeah, you're not getting any closer there, buddy. Let's keep him suppressed. And there we go, he's down. And look at this weapon. This is honestly, like, one of the best weapons in the game. I'm gonna put that on auto. It's basically a vibroblade that's always on. So if I have that equipped and I punch this, I will be able to just go through walls. And I'll be able to like take down heavily armored opponents fairly easily. The one problem with armored opponent that we're gonna have is that the ones that are armored are gonna be the ones that um You kind of don't want to melee, you know? What is this right here? Oily lava, okay. Oh, there's also Christ Steel boots. I think that that's better than anything that I've got right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the boots that we just put down were not as good. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's why Angan rifles are awesome, and that's also a good strategy on how to take out Sad Amos. I think at this point, maybe I'm being overconfident because we kind of planned that out really well. I think that we could probably go to Bethesda Susa and it wouldn't be so bad. But I mean, part of me is like, you know, why do that when we can easily farm um, magma crabs for experience and it's like it's totally safe and we're still getting a thousand experience from them? Let's get the temperature down. Okay, uh, oh actually you know what I should do, I forgot about this, but this actually, this extra dimensional sword gives us some light, which is kind of nice for identifying artifacts and uh, bits and whatnot. Roded circuit board, what's that for again? I just didn't recognize it. Because there might be some other like photo materials or something like that. You know what the really, really neat thing is about our uh, Ingen rifle is that we can run around people and hit them two at a time. And with this antimatter cell, you can see I've used this a ton. And, oop, wrong button. It doesn't seem to really have an issue of running out of charge. Hey, you got more fire ants, gaster. You know, I'm a, ooh, serrated battle axe. That's pretty sweet, and I am over encumbered. I'm not sure if I might cut this out or not. I might keep you with us for exploring some of this. I might not. Cab on the fence. Um, let's see... No, I don't think we have Love Injector, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, we could make people fall in love with us. If we got the uh, thing that lets you shoot darts, that would be really useful, because we could shoot it at enemies. Uh, but it doesn't really have much purpose otherwise. Yeah, it's it's fine that we didn't get that. Of course that's weightless, so that's not even going to help us out. Uh, what about trade goods? Yeah, I've got some copper that I can drop. These things are so useful, it's pretty cool. Like some of the best in-game loot. So I'll try and show you, yeah, I think I just hit both those crabs. But you have to kind of line the shot up, you can't just... 
uh, vote for it like that. And yeah, see, we're hitting like two of them pretty consistently. We hit three of them there. Jeez. This guy right here, I would like to suppress. I'm just gonna do wounding. Because I don't know if the effect wounding carries through to the other person who got shot, or other crab that got shot. I know that suppress doesn't just because they seem to be moving. That one got really close to me, which makes me pretty nervous, seeing how I'm pretty sure one hit and we would die. But we can very consistently suppress them. Hey, level 26, that's kind of cool. Um, now the question is, what do I want to do with that level? I've been saving up for that ultra fire. That'd be so cool to have. Still no attribute point. I could up our clairvoyance some more. Oh, you know what I realized was clairvoyance? I've been kind of silly about it, how I've been using it. Clairvoyance, you can hit the button for clairvoyance and then move it. So you can be like, hey, what's uh, what's over there? Oh, it's uh, a magma crab. So then you can, while they're lined up, start pelting them. If you know you had an accurate weapon, Ingen rifle's not very accurate. It's so inaccurate that I'm actually gonna let him get closer. And that clairvoyance is done. I hate when I hit that button on myself. Uh, you know, we could probably... We're not going to have agil Agility 29 for a little while. We could probably give ourselves some other skills. I was thinking of leveling up the block chance, but... I don't know. There's, there's things that I could get, but it's like, do I want to get it, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, we don't really have the stats for a lot of, of those things. I and mean, I could get Wilderness Lore and just make it so I never get lost. That would be kind of cool. I wonder if Sad Alice is more likely because I took that one skill. I saw online people were saying it doesn't really affect things. Um... Do I have Juke? No, I do not. That'd be 250. Juke sounds like a nice thing to have. It cost me 250. Yeah, I think that we might want to go for that. Let's go for Juke for now. Because I think that we need to uh, we're gonna be saving up for a while before we get to the um, the next thing the leveling I look what is that smell okay there's nothing here okay good we can then hopefully not run into something and Wait, what? Hold up. I'm on fire where I'm standing. Is that another sad Amis uh, cage over there? There's a Angan rifle with a high capacity. Why am I so hot here? Can I suppress that dude? A little bit worried. 
We're bringing our temperature down. I'm also keeping an eye out for a sad Amis. Okay, we're no longer on fire. I'm gonna keep that dude suppressed. Um, there's, oh, you know what? That ant was probably what caught us on fire. I think I can deal with fire ants right now. I just need to make sure that we're not about to get uh, beat down. There's a fire ant uh, queen or whatever. That's to our west. Let's just cool it for a minute. Just get our temperature down. And kind of snipe that dude. I don't see anyone nearby. Okay, I think that we're okay to come down here. Can't believe there's a second Angen rifle. Just need to be careful because I feel like we're about to get crushed. Um, we should probably sell that. I feel like an Angen rifle will, will sell for a lot. And I just want to just check my surroundings to see what else is around us. The Fullerite Mall. Taco Supreme. Taco Supreme is... they sell actually for a lot, so I'm gonna just drop this for now, get that Taco Suprema, and then pick it up again. Uh, do I have... yeah, I thought I had like a dagger or something. Pick up the Taco Suprema, pick up these guys, and we'll we'll travel out of here. Maybe we'll go to, uh... Who should we go to? Let's go to Great Gate. Uh, we've got a fully charged solar cell. Oh, by the way, I got the metered uh, mod that I can attach to these, which means I'm no longer going to waste uh, solar cells and whatnot. Because we know exactly if we have fully charged or not. So we can use that for quick traveling. Um, let's go ahead. For now, let's drop the hypertractor. I could pro I probably should have sold the hypertractor last time I was here. This stuff I've been collecting to help resist cold, but I was playing around with it. I think we can just put down lava, and that works as well. Uh. I don't think they updated their their stock when I came in here, so I'm pretty sure we actually... I think some of this is stuff that I've sold him. We might as well look and see if they've got anything that might be semi-useful. Structural scanning, no. I don't really want that. We, I mean, we could leave our loot here and then try and sell it another time once they've got some different gear. Oh, by the way, I um, I use my vibroblade to kind of explore this, which is way worth it because you get access to this person before you're supposed to. And they have really good, really, really good stuff. Ooh, they've got a blueprint for an antimatter cell. I don't know if that actually is useful or not. Because we already have one. It'd be nice to be able to make more though, is what I'm thinking. There's also rocket skates which make you move faster. I think you need to like, put oil in them or something. Yeah, I was already looking at this, so I, yeah. This I was looking at, you don't really get armor protection. It makes you a little faster, but you don't get armor and you need to use oil. 
to get the uh, the super fast sprint. I think I'm gonna go for this if it if I have enough um, valuable stuff for it. I don't know if I do. We'll see how much the Angen rifle sells for. Wait, yeah, this painted flawless. Okay, yeah, well, we've got enough. Yeah, we have, we've got plenty. Wow, that engraved laser rifle that sells for a lot. Um, and if I wanted to, I could get the rocket skates blueprint as well. I kind of like having the armor. I don't want to be not having protection. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's make this trade for this antimatter instructions. What I was thinking was we have the uh, stuff for a um, a phase cannon. Oh wait! Oh no! We need tinkering three for. Oh jeez. Yeah, that was a waste. <laughs> That was a total waste. I was thinking that we had the um, the ability to make a phase cannon now, but that may be not worth it. Let's just leave this and that, and actually, you know what, the flamethrower, I don't think I'm gonna really need anything besides my Angen rifle. I'll keep the sniper, ri sniper rifle in case somebody EMPs us and we need to get some shots off. Um, but we've dropped our weight down considerably. You know what I was thinking about? We have... Do we still have the backpack that's a... Uh, that little gyrocopter? No, I don't. Hmm. So I think what I want to do is actually go to Bethesda Susa, which we're going to have to do on foot. Because I'm pretty sure that we're... And we... We just killed a clone of Sadamus. I mean, we could kill the legit one, the OG Sadamus. If we're smart. Um, yeah, let's just preserve some of that. And you know what? Let's get a new recipe, actually. Um, we have a ton of this. And we got a ton of these. Let's see what that does. Oh, that, that could be useful, some heat resistance. Yeah, fire breath is not useful for us. So we could just drink water. Balsamic porridge. That sounds so gross. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so that's uh, we're probably going to get lost, but we're trying to get up to here. Let's go near Golgotha. Oh, wow, are we not going to get lost? Okay, I thought we would. I'm not too worried, though. Um, let's put that fidget cell in and replace this with said fidget cell. That way we should be able to see pretty far. Yep, we're fine. Oh, we got another recipe that we could cook. Um, I'm not going to mess around in these woods. It's not really worth it. Oh, where are you? Cyberneticist? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, you got nothing to trade. Um, I 
I'm just gonna go with the classic. Give us a little bit more HP. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, that's a like a craggle whatever. Cragglemensch brainer. They're actually easy for us, nice. I'm failing to penetrate their armor. There we go. Yeah, these dudes are... they have really high armor. There we go. Even as trivial enemies, these dudes... are not easy. Oh wait, what? Did he just throw a phase grenade at us? I think he just threw a phase grenade. Okay, so the brainer... That brainer was actually much easier. So if you look, these dudes are like um, animated boulders. Kind of interesting. It's actually pretty weird. When you thought Caves of Cut couldn't get weirder, you got like uh, what was that Pokemon? Not Geo Dude. His evolved form. Not Onyx, but the, uh, the little like turtle thing. The rock turtle. That's what I imagine when I find these uh, crag mench. Which is also like, why? Why is it mench? Are they like German or something? Like, what's the deal with that? Speaking of German, m my wife might be getting a job in Germany, so I might be following her. I don't know. We'll see. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to work as a teacher over there. I'm actually a UK citizen as well. But Brexit is going to make it so... <laughs> I love how I just said Brexit. I was so mad because it's going to make it so I can't work there. Not easily. I mean, I could get probably a visa because she's going to get a job there. But I wouldn't be working. Guess more time for you two? The bright side of things, right? Okay, let's just check out what we got around us. Glow right. Silas ways. Okay, this is Crag Mench, though. They need to go. Um, something just confused him. I'm pretty sure it's the sightless way, dude. If I try and do like that, yeah, I can kill him. Mr. Cragmensch. As you can see, this isn't this isn't so bad. And these guys actually, even though because they're trivial. I thought I wasn't going to get a lot of XP, but we're getting plenty. Come on. Can we penetrate, please? I mean, we could melee these dudes, but I'm a little bit worried that they could just like punch us. Let me just die. So you can see our temperature up here is 21. I want to just show you. Keep that in mind, this, that temperature as we, we go down. Because from what I remember, it gets pretty darn cold in uh, Bethesda Sousa. There's also really good loot. And nonsensical door placement. Maybe it used to make sense, but over the years. You know, if we... did we end up getting Juke? We might be able to use Juke to like punch someone and then get out of the way. I'm not sure if that's how it works or not. Wait, what are these dudes? A blue gel and a rummager. 
Okay, well, we're gonna shoot the friendly guy if we try and attack that blue gel right now. <clears throat> That blue gel is, uh, actually pretty tough. Oh, did we... Oh, we hit the rummager. I think he shot us a few times. I'm sorry, bud. Forgive me. At least you're, uh, you're not diplomatic status, dude. That would be that was super bad. Because then the mechanists would be mad at us and we're going into a holy land of theirs. Oh, another sniper rifle? Okay. This stuff is really good convalescence, but we're about to get to pools of it, so I'm not going to worry. About picking one up. Oh, is this? Oh gosh. So look, our temperature is 18 right now. If I look, this is the first troll, the one who parts limbs. So it says that he's average. He's a swarmer. Is this the one who spawns? Okay, so do you see how he got plus one there? He was healing himself, using the, using the convalescence. Okay, this dude is easy. Oh, Silas Way doesn't hate us so much. So there is kind of a workaround that we can do. Most of these guys, you need to get their keys from them. These trolls. There's something that you can do as well, is that if you have the ability to just punch down doors, you can just run through and get to the door. Okay, this is not an invisible one either. Look at our temperature though, it's gone to 8. So that could be a problem for us. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a tricksy rabbit, is that I'm going to uh, take some of our lava and put that down. And I think that should keep our temperature up. Yep, that's totally keeping our temperature up. And I suppress them to make sure they don't get too close. Is our antimatter cell really low? Wow. I'm impressed that we uh, we can even do that. There we go. Alright, so the second one's down. It looked like it was a spell, that web, web that he uh, gave us there. Can I get that silver key, please? Yeah, with our vibro blade, we can probably just... Uh, our way through this third door because from what I remember this dude's a pain if I shoot like that uh, this dude's invisible there's an invisible dude in here with us I don't know if he's seen us he's beginning to bud I'm just gonna... You know what this reminds me of is that scene in Mad Max. When... Uh... What's his name? The... Oh gosh. It says he's budding, but I don't see any anything or anyone. I'm so freaked out right now. Clairvoyance doesn't let me see invisible enemies, does it? It, 
did. Wait, what? Okay, we just got punched. There we go. He's he's like over here somewhere. There we go. He's uh over here. Nice. Uh I don't see any item. That's a troll. I think I just saw... There we go. You're like right over here somewhere. I don't know where you're at though. I kind of feel like I should just throw a grenade. Do I have any grenades? I don't think I do. I've got a flashbang, but I don't think that's going to work. Oh, he's stunned us. He's visible. There we go. Nice. That was a real big gamble, waiting till he attacked us there, but... I don't even know why that worked. Um, why we were able to see him all of a sudden. But we were able to see him. That's what matters. Okay, so you might think, oh, well, you just killed the invisible dude. You're fine, right? And of course, something's trying to put us to sleep. Nope. Just gonna nope right out of there. Um. As you can see, like, we're way over leveled for this point in the game. Uh, let's just wait. I'm just pressing 5 right now. I'm hoping that the sleep stuff's gone away. Yeah, can I kill that? It says that he's asleep. Uh. If I try and melee him, ooh, uh, I need to, I need to get my Kopesh out. Okay, there we go. It was, it took a while to, for it to turn on. And then we just destroyed. I'm gonna fall back for now. How long have I been recording for? Alright, well I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.